All right, so how I started in the lawn care business. Well, I was driving trucks most of my life. And I, I was at the point I was really unemployable. I, my alcoholism had gotten so bad. Um, you know, I, I had moments where I'd be good, but I, I just, I mean, chances are it wasn't going to be too dependable. I wasn't going to show up to work. So yeah, I skated through the last few years of um, truck driving jobs. And then I had this idea, you know, I needed money for beer. So I, I, I said, well, I'll mow lawns. And I, my wife and I, we got our tax return a couple years ago and I bought a used riding tractor off my sister-in-law for $500 scrapped together some equipment and mowed a few lawns. It, it was a joke. Then I realized I really needed it, a zero turn or something bigger. So I, I was able to talk my father into lending me the money um, to get a, a, a zero turn, which is the mower I use now. It's a uh, Gravely ZTX 52. I spent about 3000 bucks on it. It's a good residential mower. Um, it is certainly see, you know, showing that it's time for me to replace it now. Um, and that's uh, going to start next season with the help of God with a new mower for it. My wife and I are uh, working it out. For those, if you're not in the lawn care business, a good commercial mower can be anywhere from about seven dollars to $15,000. Give or take, you can get a little higher than that. But one I'm looking for is about $8,000. So it's not like, you know, going up and just spending a few bucks on something. It is a significant, you know, it's the most expensive thing I'll buy in my business other than possibly a truck. Um, so I started with that. We got a few customers, mainly this was, you know, I, I was still drinking, so this was mainly a um, thing to get beer money for me or things like that. And um, last August, my wife gave me an ultimatum. You know, she sat me down and, you know, she really said she can't deal with my drinking anymore. And, and I had known in my gut that something had to be done, I just didn't know how to do it. And that's a very, if you're not an alcoholic or if you're not an addict, you're going to have a very hard time understanding that. Because even me sitting here right now with a clean head, I say to myself, I can't comprehend that I was in that frame of mind. But when you were in that frame of mind, it's it's demoralizing, dehumanizing, it's the worst kind of, it, it, it's, it's horrible. When a substance has that much control over you, and that's really what it is, so... Long story short, my wife got me into a detox. It took me the following day. I got in there, and it was like a weight was off my shoulders. I, I had, I wanted, I wanted, I wanted to get clean. I wanted to get. I didn't want to drink anymore. So I went three days down to Brooksville, Florida, to Bayfront Hospital. They put me in a private room in the back. And I detoxed in three days. Immediately came home, went into a uh, an outpatient treatment program, which I, I did for about six months. Um, real intense, a couple times a week, you know, meeting with a counselor. I didn't want to do it. Pissed off. Learned a lot about myself. I had uh, a couple good counselors while I was there. They really these people know what they're doing. They they call you out on shit that you don't want to be called out with. It's ugly. You know, I've heard it's like peeling an onion away. Things got really worse before they got better. Um, I was a very angry person in early sobriety. Um, I was also uh, ashamed. Uh, the, the shame is a lot to carry. And through meeting people that have gone through the same problem, that gets better. And until the day I die, I need my support groups because the average. My wife is not an alcoholic. She doesn't understand. I can't go to, I mean, I can go to her more than other people because she took the time to learn it for the average person to like, you know, shake it off, you know, quit drinking, do they don't, you know, it don't work like that for alcoholics. I'm not gonna try to get into a, uh, an argument with you, whether you think alcoholism is a disease or whether they can help it. I'm here to tell you people, you don't, you wake up one day and you're like, you know, pardon my life, what the fuck just happened? And that, that's the way it goes. So I got into the treatment, things got ugly, and then, you know, really, you, I heard people started giving, you know, letting God in their life. I started getting a little more spiritual in my life. I don't go to church, folks. I don't read the Bible. But through my AA group and my kid, my relationship with my kids, and I said, you know, what the hell? I said, why, why is all of a sudden things are getting better for me? 
you know, why did God give me another chance? So I said, maybe there's something to this. Maybe he does, you know, kind of give you what you need. You just got to fucking take your head out of your ass and listen to him. So that's what I did. And I don't know how to say it, folks. I just kind of let him run the ship, and I, I kind of have to listen to him and focus on it. And, and uh, my life's been better for it. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're pushing on, uh, you know, I don't want to say my business is where it needs to be, because it's not. We still got a lot of ways to go. But me and my wife, without doing too much work of our own, just showing up, communicating with people and actually doing the physical we're cutting the grass we've turned into at least where it's a job now i i can go to work every day and my bills are going to be paid yes next year i want to turn this into an actual landscape company get employees and grow from it there but it's uh you know it takes time and i gotta be patient um so that's where we're at now and uh i'm gonna keep these videos coming and we're gonna you know you guys have been through anything shoot down in the comments like subscribe you know the whole bit and uh let's uh you know let's help out our fellow brother, no, brothers and sisters in recovery because you know what that's the only way i'm gonna stay sober is if i help other people so i know that and uh it's a beautiful day today i don't know i'm not gonna drink today and that's all i gotta tell you is next 24 hours i don't need a drink so it's all good